here we can connect room 3 and with the help of room 3 we can go to empty so the problem is open in front of us let me read it so it says that there are n rooms labeled from 0 to n minus 1 and all the rooms are locked except for room 0 your goal is to visit all the rooms however you cannot enter locked room without having its key when you visit a room you may find set of distinct keys in each key has a number on it denoting which room it unlocks and you can take all of them with you to unlock the other rooms given an array of rooms where room i is the set of keys that you can obtain if you visit room i return true if you can visit all the room or false otherwise so here set of rooms are given and in this problem it is mentioned that we can visit room 0 so this is room 0 this is room 1 this is room 3 and we are going to find whether all the rooms can be unlocked using this key or not for this let's go to figma and there we will try to understand section so after reading the problem section if you have observed carefully that room 0 is always opened and other rooms are locked so when we visit room 0 we find some key with the help of that key we will open next room in room 0 since we here we see that we have key for room 1 so with the help of that we will open room 1 and with the help of room 1 we can open room 2 since 2 key 2 is present inside it again for again for room 2 there is a key for room 3 and inside room 3 it is empty since we have already visited let's connect all the dots so we will connect room with the help of room 0 we can connect room 1 and with the help of room 1 here room 1 we can connect room 2 again with the help of room 2 which is here we can connect room 3 and with the help of room 3 we can go to empty room here if you see that we have visited all the rooms it means that we have unlocked all the rooms that's what the problem is asking for statement of this problem is that check whether all the rooms can be opened or not so if you see with the help of this graph it is clear that all the rooms will be unlocked only if they are connected to each other in other words we can say the graph is connected let's consider this second example if you see here with the help of room 0 we can visit room 1 and room 3 now with the help of now <clears throat> with the help of room 1 we can visit we can visit room 3 room 1 and room 1 itself now with the help of room 2 here if you see this is the room 2 and this is the room 3 room 1 room 0 so with the help of room 2 we can only visit room 2 right with the help of room 2 we can visit only room 2 we can visit only room 2 but how will we visit it if we cannot find the key the key for room 2 is present inside room 2 only so it cannot be open it means this room cannot be opened or in other word this graph is not connected so this is the connected graph and this is the unconnected graph so in this problem we gonna only find if graph is connected if graph is connected or not if graph is connected we will return true if graph is not connected then we will return false 
I will use BFS for that I will use Q Q integer Q new linked list Q dot add source that will be zero because zero is room zero is always unlocked room zero is always unlocked that's that's why it will be our source create a set scene new hash set so that we can keep track if we have already seen the key or not here we will add scene dot add our source that is zero now we can say while while q is not empty while q is not empty we can say q dot poll and this will be our key this will, sorry this will be our room or key you can consider you can consider anything now here we will traverse through each room so we can say int next room rooms dot get room so with the help of this room how many rooms we can visit here we will say if not seen if not seen next room if we already have not visited next room we will visit that so we will add that room into our queue queue dot add next room and we can also mark it as visited or seen so we can say scene dot add next room now to solve this problem again we will define a new set set of integer we will say all keys new hash set now for all keys or we can say all rooms so here we will tell <clears throat> list of integer room in rooms now for int key inside room we will add let's change this variable to all keys this will be more readable all keys dot add key that is present inside room now we will add this so this is the number of all keys and here we have this data structure scene so in scene there will be only those keys or those rooms which we have seen so far if we haven't visited all the rooms that won't be present so we can say return scene dot size is equal to room dot size if you add all the variable let's consider the first example if you add all the nodes inside it inside all keys you can see there will be one extra node in scene in scene 
in scene we will be having 0 1 2 3 since in the starting we are adding this node as a source node if you see here here it is and in all keys it will be 1 2 and 3 so what we can do we can say return scene dot size minus 1 is equal to room dot size sorry it will be not room all keys dot size now let's try to submit it so our code has been accepted by lead code now I will submit Today again, we have received one more award from lead code. So for if you want to have the solution for this question, I will share the solution, the link of this solution in the description section. If you are watching this video, please like this video, subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.